How can anybody trust anything on social media? That may sound like a political or cultural issue, but when social media posts are offered as evidence, the question becomes a legal issue too. And the Court of Appeals of Maryland addressed it in the 2011 case of Griffin v. State. Antoine Griffin was charged with murder. During Griffin's trial, Police Sergeant John Cook testified that Jessica Barber, Griffin's girlfriend, used her MySpace profile to threaten a witness. Cook testified that a MySpace profile, identified by a nickname, was Barber's creation. Cook testified that the profile listed the same birth date as Barber's and displayed an image of an embracing couple that Cook asserted was Barber and Griffin. Another picture was alleged to be of Barber. Cook then testified that Griffin's nickname was Boozy and that the MySpace profile displayed the line, quote, Free Boozy. Just remember, snitches get stitches. You know who you are, unquote. When Barber took the stand, the prosecutor didn't ask her about the MySpace profile. The prosecution offered no other evidence to authenticate the MySpace page. Over Griffin's objection, the trial court admitted both the profile and Cook's testimony that Barber created it. Griffin was subsequently convicted of murder, and the Court of Special Appeals affirmed. The Court of Appeals of Maryland, the highest state court, granted cert.